welcome back once again to howtocookwayfood.com if you haven't already click that button and subscribe to our channel on the menu today really simple version of a Chinese pork ribs these are really simple as you can see I've got some lovely cleaned beautiful ribs in there here I'm going to add just a star anise I've got some chopped garlic or sliced garlic about three cloves in there here I've got some ginger powder and they give it a wonderful flavour some black pepper and here I've got some soy sauce I'm using a dark soy sauce it comes in two varieties or more than two but generally you get a nice dark rich one or a thinner one use whichever one you want then I'm here I've got some honey a clear honey that's going to go in there and then that's right, ketchup. Quite a lot of this ketchup. It's going to add a great sweetness to it. Mm. Do not be shy with that. That is pretty much it. What we're going to do is get this mixed in a bowl. I want to cover this really and leave it in your refrigerator for, I mean, if you could leave it for about at least two hours, at least. I mean, you could do it overnight, it would be fantastic. So all those flavours are going to work. This is so simple, I mean, nothing really complicated going on there. I've added that star anise, but if you wanted, you could just add a bit of uh, five spice powder, which is available in most stores. Right, we're going to cover that. I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so here we go then. I've now got a baking tray, which as you can see, it's got like a centimetre of water in it. And just as a bit of extra flavour, I'm going to squeeze this lime in there and pop the lime in. Now this water acts as a moisturiser, really. So in that goes. And then we're going to pop over this mesh, as you can see. So we've got the water, which when we bake it in the oven, it's going to kind of evaporate and keep them nice and moist. And like I say, that bit of lime in there or lemon just gives it a little, a little something else. Now we're simply going to drop our ribs which smell absolutely divine by the way on there and simply get these in the oven not on a raging heat I don't want to cook them really really fast so it's on medium heat and uh, for about let's say all ovens are really different but medium heat for about 25 to 30 minutes don't throw that away we might baste a little bit of that over it see you in a moment okay so we're ready for the oven like I say I'm going to use gas mark 7 on my cooker all cookers are different so you know you want to kind of medium heat I'm going to put these in for about 25 to 35 minutes and I'm going to turn them about halfway through so simple see you later here we go so that was about 10 or 15 minutes just turn them over you can see that that water is really doing its job and it's steaming up and that's really going to keep them beautifully moist. Now depending on the size of your ribs as well will depend on how long this is going to take. Uh, I've got some more of our marination which I'm just going to pop over so I told you not to waste it. So these are going to go back in the oven in my oven for about another 15 minutes or so I'm not on a raging heat like I said above a medium and I'll flip them over a few more times and they're gonna be done and they're gonna be absolutely delicious I'll see you when they come out okay these fellas were in my oven for about 35 to 40 minutes in the end these are gonna be beautifully succulent nice and sweet obviously with that ketchup and that honey they're gonna have fantastic fantastic flavor that water in the bottom of that tray is a must if you do this without that they're gonna be really dry and a bit nasty quite frankly hope you enjoy that don't forget to subscribe to our channel I'm off to eat these bad boys see you soon bye bye